Good morning out there. How are you doing, Jeff? DMC Health Solutions.com for our weekly health and wellness video. As we do every Saturday after that workout at LA Fitness in Natick, we did a great shoulders, tries, abs. We're here at Lake Chichwit behind me, the tr rail trail right over there. As we usually do our videos, it's our studio, if you want to call it that, right? It's our studio that we do these health and wellness videos every Saturday morning. So definitely tune in to the AIMC Health Solutions Facebook page for these. As always, we have a whole library of videos kind of focused mostly on fitness, supplementation, diet, and, of course, mindset and education like we always talk about. So I'm going to go a little bit of fitness this week. We're going to talk about how, why you should mix up your workout. All right, so I've seen a lot, you know, examples. Like, a lot of times people do the same thing. They either just, all they do is run, all they do is walk, or if it's at the gym and strength training, they do the same routine over and over and over again. Same number of reps, same exercises, and all. And what happens there is your body, believe it or not, is more prone to injury when you do that. Because you're not growing your muscles. Your muscles are getting bored. Now imagine if you had vanilla ice cream every single day for a month. Your taste buds would be like, not again. Please, let's do something different. Now there's something called cross training. You probably heard that before. Where you mix up a bunch of different exercises uh, on a regular basis. So your body needs to grow. And for it to grow... It needs change. It's kind of like your mind, right? You ever say, you know, you need to adapt yourself to change for you to be able to, be able to grow. You, you learn, you read a book, you go to a training. You always have to change, and the change is always good. And cross-training is probably one of the most popular ways to do that. Now, I'm going to talk a little bit about fitness, right? So, you know, I do four days a week. I go, I do legs one day, legs uh, biceps, calves. Next day I do chest, tries, abs. Next day I do back, calves, and biceps. And then my fourth day is shoulders, tries, and abs. I mix it up with a little bit of walking, as you can see here. I also do some biking. I used to run. Uh, sometimes I run, but I don't really run like I used to. Uh, but what I usually do is I usually mix things up. So you're like, Jeff, that's the same routine every week. But what I do is I'll do different exercises, and I'll reverse them. Uh, I'll do, let's do, for example, let's do legs. Right? Everybody starts with squats. Yeah, naturally, because that's the hardest exercise. You're using the most weight. You usually do leg extensions or leg curls. Then you may go to calves. There's a lot of different things that you can do with legs. I love lunges. But what you want to do is, you know, write down five or six exercises that you do and mix them up. Like one day, do the leg ascensions first, then do the squats. You may not do it as heavy. Now remember, this is, we're not in a contest of how much we can lift. It's how we lift weights. How you do the exercises and how your form is, is more important than, hey, setting some Arnold Schwarzenegger record of, hey, I bench pressed 390 pounds today. Did you do it correctly? So what you want to do, and this is the whole fu function of cross training, is Write down your exercises and mix them up. Do different routines. There's certain other routines you could do. You could do a pyramid approach where you do four or five sets. You go to your third set, your highest, and you drop. Or you just stay on a slope and go to your heaviest weight and then stop there. What I like to do is I like to do four sets. I do three sets. I do a pyramid approach. And then my fourth, fourth set is my cool down, you want to call it. And then I would do, I would max out. But you want to change things around because what happens is you, the benefits of changing your workout and mixing it up is to reduce injury potential. Because what you're doing is you're allowing your muscles to adapt and grow versus if you do the same thing over and over and over, you're mm -hmm. just going to beat the hell out of your joints and your muscles, and they don't know what to do next. I mean, you see this a lot with runners, right? If they all they do is run and they don't do anything else, right? What happens is they end up having a lot of injuries. Oh, I got to get my knee replaced. Oh, I have my joints are killing me. Or, you know, they have also, they have surgeries and all, and don't ever have surgeries. That's the last resort on another note. 
but what happens is you always have that. So, so to wrap this up, why you want to do the shocking principle, I call it that, mixed workouts. You want your body to grow. You want your body to adapt to change. You're going to see results. And ultimately, you're going you're gonna to feel amazing about your, your body and the way you feel about life in general. So have a good day. This is Jeff D, amchealthsolutions.com. Definitely check our website out, uh, amchealthsolutions.com. There is a fitness page there that has some great routines. I will um, I'll put that as a link with this today. And you want to really change things up. And if you need help, by all means, complimentary, free, just drop me a note. You know, Jeff, write me a routine for me. Let's let's work together. If you need help, I've been doing this personally for 35 years. Don't I look like it, right? I've been doing this a long time. So I've been doing all sorts. I've tried all sorts of ways, right, to stay in shape. So if you need help, let me know. Have a good day. We'll see you soon.